Once a thriving industrial center, by the beginning of the Dark Crusade, the Vandian coast had fallen into disuse. Some factories in the cities were still operational, but other great underground refineries languished under the sands of the coast, long since abandoned as unnecessary by the planet's Tau masters. Whoever gained control of the coast would enjoy a powerful advantage for the rest of the Crusade. With such potent manufacturing facilities, field commanders could requisition more weapons than their foes. The Space Marines of the Blood Ravens chapter were well entrenched in their castellum in North Vandia when they finally faced an all-out attack. Utterly unwilling to surrender or retreat any further, the Blood Ravens prepared a mighty defense against the coming assault. Among those defending the keep were Space Marines drawn from the chapter's hallowed first company. These were the hardened veterans of many crusades, each man ready and able to face down whole squads of enemy attackers. The Blood Ravens on the ground would be further bolstered by fresh troops arriving from the battle barge Litany of Fury in orbit around the planet. Only two factors made the Blood Ravens at all assailable in their stronghold. Most critically, the fortress was unable to receive reinforcements directly from orbit. Captain Thule thus had to establish a forward base to receive drop pods and landing craft. 
Although well defended, this base could be taken. Secondly, the Space Marines had established their base near ancient ruins, which the Ravens claimed held relics of great importance to the chapter. Unwilling to desecrate the space by fortifying it, Fuel opened the door to an enemy claiming the area and thus dealing a powerful blow to the normally unbreakable Space Marine morale. The Battle of North Vandia would be one of the bloodiest of the entire war. The enemy is at our doorstep and thinks he can push us off this world. He is already gloating. He can taste his victory. But what he fails to see is that we will make this his last meal. The Chief Librarian has ordered the purge of this world to protect our chapter's secrets. Are we to retreat with our duty unfulfilled? Are we to let a black mark stain the banner of the Blood Ravens? I say that we will not. I say our enemies will regret the day they ever decided to face us in battle. Our battle barge orbits overhead and will rain the Emperor's holy fury upon our opponents. More of our brothers will come to join the fight. But as ever, our enemy outnumbers us. Each of you must be an army in your own right. Veterans of the First Company, the finest of the entire chapter, stand with us. Let their valor guide your fire into the enemy's heart. Remember that we are Blood Ravens, brothers. We have all sworn to protect fonts of hidden knowledge. Each one of us must fall before handing this word to the enemy. The Emperor is with us. The Unknown Primarch is with us. They have come for our blood, but they will drown in their own. Death has come for you, Space Marine. We are the Emperor's finest. We will not fall to you, alien. Your end is inevitable. Submit and spare yourselves the pain of living. Blood Ravens! For the Emperor! Incoming orbital fire!
are near the chapel, brothers. Close ranks and attack! We will drive you from their Necrons! You will only follow your Emperor into death. The Emperor protects us. We will not fail. You will. <laughs>